Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of our programming language series. In this video, I'll be showing you how we can create a dashboard in R using flex dashboard option of R Markdown. In my previous video, we already have started with the uh, R Markdown concept in which we have learned how we can create a document out of it. But this time around using R Markdown as a base, we'll see that how we can create a dashboard out of it. All right. For this today's video, we'll be using three major packages, uh, Flex Dashboard Package, uh, ggplot Package and XLS Package because we'll be reading one Excel file. So data set for today's video is coming from this website. Uh, it is Fred and I'll be using a US Economic uh, Indicators data set. I can show you the data set. It's available with me in this in the form of Excel file in which we got multiple sheets available, GDP sheet two and this and that. Okay, so we got these uh, numbers available. We'll be plotting the graphs. Uh, against the date uh, and the GDP date versus unemployment rate and date versus ISM.PMI. At last, we'll also be trying to uh, uh, represent what's the average unemployment rate in US uh, from this uh, minimum date uh, 1980 to the maximum date which is available in the last, it is 2016. Means I try to uh, find out the uh, unemployment rate using this dashboard. All right. For this, uh, to just to save the time, already have written the script uh, in my text file, which I'll be sharing you uh, sharing with you in a while. But uh, let me show you how we can uh, start with the kickstart this uh, using the R Studio interface. You need to click on a file and you need to click on the new file. Followed by you need to click on the R Markdown. The way we have opened up the R Markdown interface in the previous video as well. But over there we were working with this interface. But this time around will be have to click on the from template option and click on the flex dashboard option okay and uh, and click on okay you'll be finding that uh, one one template will be auto generated uh, in front of you once you click on okay the same way we got this auto template uh, created in the previous video as well when we have went with the document creation in this case we need to uh, just fill in some of the blanks here because in this case the by default there are three charts again for this video also i'll be just be drawing the simple charts. There'll be no fancy charts, nothing, but it'll be a basic little uh, practical so that you can uh, get start with the dashboard building in R. All right. I'll be just be uh, plotting three line graphs from the GG plot just to represent uh, three things like a uh, date versus GDP, date versus unemployment rate and date versus ISM PMI three graphs. Okay. At last, we also try to uh, print the information of average unemployment rate. Okay, let's get started. So uh, for that, I've already have opened up this uh, little uh, file in front of you. So first of all, we need to change this uh, uh, this one, uh, the name of the uh, from untitled to my dashboard. Okay, followed by we need to uh, now uh, load some libraries. Okay, I've already told you that a flex dashboard is the one library. We need also we all be requiring the XLS and ggplot2. Here we are reading two files here. One is uh, uh, one is uh, from this sheet name, which is GDP and other is sheet name equal to sheet two. Actually, the sheet name is a parameter defined under the uh, read.xls package. And we can specify that from which sheet we need to read the data. All right, I'm putting up in a X and Y variables here. Moving further, we need to now generate the graphs. Actually, again, I've already have put up the video for ggplot in case if you're joining me in this video, I just uh, want you to uh, watch that video as well. I'll be putting up the link of both uh, R Markdown document and ggplot in the description box. So what we are doing in this case, we are just generating uh, the similar graphs, uh, three similar graphs here. The first graph is saying that, first of all, I'm just putting up the fig.width parameter so that uh, I can widen the ggplot output uh, as per the uh, the column width okay so that it will be properly visible to you uh, it's up to you uh, how much width you want to keep so i'm keeping it at 10 so here we are using the uh, point uh, ggplot function in which the first parameter we all know it's the data input data it's coming from x followed by aesthetics we need to specify the x and y axis it is uh, between date versus it is date versus gdp so we need to give the column names here it will be a line graph so that's why we're using a function gm underscore line you can also change the color with the color equal to blue option and we are putting up the title as graph one it's optional parameter you can put up some title here and we all can also give the labels of y and x axis as well i'm just putting up here x lab and y lab respectively followed by we have a theme option available in the themes we all know that if you want to customize the look alike of the graph here we're just changing the uh, size of the text uh, on the x and y axis okay so similar code we have copy and pasted and this time around we just have uh, change x to y okay and uh, now it's now it's date versus unrate means unemployment rate earlier it was date versus real gdp now it is uh, uh, date versus 
unread everything remains same there's no change at all you can see it here there's no change at all in this case okay the same way we have a third graph available again no change but in this case only one change is there you can see it here we are specifying the width and height column so that uh, i can have the four sections in my uh, layout of my dashboard the first column will be having two rows it will be displaying the first two uh, this this first two graphs the second column will be having again two rows first row will be having the third graph and the fourth uh, second row will be having the information about the unemployment rate so that's why we have the kept as the uh, this options here okay so it is done okay afterwards we have the regular ggplot available no no change at all the the syntax remains same throughout at last we are just printing the uh, average unemployment rate mind you this 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 is not a post of okay it's uh, you can find in your keyboard uh, under the tilde uh, symbol okay you'll find this symbol so we need to specify the minimum of y's date column means from 1980 to the last one it is 2016 so that's why we are put up here the uh, uh, minimum of y dollar date means we are selecting the date column from the y sheet y variable in which we have loaded the uh, second sheet sheet 2 and uh, we are going up to the max of y dollar date and we are printing the average of the unemployment rate that's why we using the mean function here all right so this is the simple little uh, script available let's what we'll do i just copy and paste this uh, thing in the in this one okay simply copy and paste it so in this case we got this uh, uh, like uh, got populated let's see now let's try to save the file and uh, knit it so that we can see the results later on okay so i'm just uh, clicking on knit okay and uh, specify some name so i'm specifying as maybe something dot uh, rmd as the extension so it is done so let's uh, click on knit so that it can be uh, processed okay so we have click on knit and it's keep it's running let's see uh, what will be the result so i should see the uh, dashboard in front of me consisting of four section you can see it here the first graph is displayed with the blue color because we have specified blue over there color equal to blue second graph is represented again line graph it's with the red color third with the green color and the fourth section we got the average unemployment rate from the minimum date to maximum date is 6.4 so you can see it here uh, here i have specified the uh, colors okay here i have specified green color we have specified red color we have specified the blue color all right so we got the corresponding graph generated i hope uh, from this short little video you must have understood how we can get start with the dashboard building in r language okay in case of any uh, 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 thing that that is not clear from this video please uh, put up the comment in my videos in my videos uh, like link all right thanks for watching guys see you next video